Hello everyone! So today I'm doing a video about my nose piercing. It's kind of like an update video. So a few weeks ago I showed you guys a video of me getting my nose pierced and I actually changed it to a hoop myself after I got it pierced because I got it pierced with an L-shaped nose piercing ring and it kept falling out in like the shower and when I was sleeping and it like really freaked me out so I just put a gold hoop in my nose because then it won't be able to fall out because it's straight up a hoop. Only thing you can do is like spin around <laughs> in my nose. So when I changed it to a hoop, I almost immediately got a keloid on my nose. Anyone with nose piercings or any piercing at all know that keloids suck. <laughs> they are so hard to get rid of and it is basically just built up scar tissue on your nose I think. To get rid of my keloid I looked up so many like home remedies and so many people had many different ideas about how to get rid of it but the most common thing that I heard that people said to do was to get tea tree oil. So I went to Ingalls and I got tea tree, 100% pure essential oil. And it comes like this and I'm pretty sure it was like $8. It was pretty expensive for this small thing of tea tree oil, but it was totally so worth it. I'm so glad I got this. This was my savior. This stuff smells terrible. It's like nothing I've ever smelled in my life before, but I hate the smell of it. I tried not to get this in the inside of my nose. I'm going to show you guys how I got rid of my keloid completely. I feel like if I get another keloid, this will get rid of it again. And I just want to share this with you guys so I can help you guys if you have a keloid because they suck. I didn't just use tea tree oil. I also used 100% sea salt. I got this all natural coarse sea salt, 100% pure California sea salt. You don't have to get this specific brand, I just like this brand of sea salt. I mean this is what I use to heal my belly button piercing and heal my cartilage piercing and heal my other cartilage. I have two cartilage piercings. I use this for basically all my piercings. So. I love the sea salt. I've heard of people actually going to like the pet store and buying like actually like the sea salt you put in your fish tank, but I just don't want to have like a giant thing of sea salt. I don't think I'll ever use that much sea salt. This is a perfect amount for me. Tea tree oil and sea salt work perfectly together to solve any piercing problems. So what I did to get rid of the keloid on my nose is I got a glass. It doesn't have to be this big. You can get like a shot glass. I poured salt in here. Just a little, you don't need a lot of salt. Made sure it was all on one side and then I took my tea tree oil. In every video I've seen, they don't really mention how much tea tree oil you use. So, I mean, I kind of just put like a few dashes in my salt just a little so it gets the salt damp you want your salt damp damp enough so that it can stick together so i think i put enough in here so i would do this every day before i went to bed you need to be careful about using tea tree oil too much on your nose because it can dry your nose piercing out a lot, but it really does help with healing your nose piercing. I think mine is completely healed and I've had it for like maybe three months now. What I do is I basically mix the tea tree oil and the salt together. So it's kind of like a paste, but not really. Just took a Q-tip to mix it around. And like I said before, you don't have to use like a giant glass to do this. I just had this in my bathroom at the time, so this is what I used. You can use like a shot glass. I'm pretty sure a shot glass would work better. But just mix it around so it's just like a little paste. Then I would take it and I would basically place this paste on my nose. And it's pretty hard to just like get it to stick to your nose so it probably needs to be a bit damp 
with the tea tree oil so make sure you put enough tea tree oil in it that it can stick to your nose i would take this and stick it on my nose and try to sleep on the side where your nose isn't touching the pillow try to sleep on the side so your nose is like exposed so that the salt and the tea tree oil can like soak into your piercing overnight i did that basically every night for like a week i think and that completely took away my keloid hopefully it works for you guys like it did for me because that was like a miracle i was just like wow like the tea tree oil and the salt totally helped and now i just clean my piercing as usual i just use saline solution and sometimes i do this if i feel like i see any sort of like skin pigment difference or anything like that but really i i only would use this if you have a big keloid or any sort of keloid that you want to get rid of and this totally worked for me i really hope this works for you guys because keloids suck another thing that you could do is take the tea tree oil and put it in a cotton swab i didn't really find this that useful but a bunch of people said that this helped them just basically hold it on your nose for a few i think minutes just let it soak in the tea tree oil but the best thing that worked for me is just leaving the sea salt and the tea tree oil on my nose overnight that completely healed it and i was just like thank the freaking lord because i don't want this giant <laughs> keloid on my nose and now it's like perfectly healed I mean, there is a little bit of scar tissue right there, so it's still kind of healing from where the keloid was, but it looks a lot better and healthier than it did. I hope this video helped you guys. The tea tree oil is probably the best thing that I found because I was using sea salt before and it just wasn't doing anything. And when I mixed it with the tea tree oil, it was like completely gone. I'm so happy with my nose piercing now. So I really hope this video helped you guys. And if it did, please thumbs up and subscribe. It'll be awesome. I hope you guys like my t-shirt. It has a slice of pizza on it. It's making me hungry. I want some freaking pizza. I hope you guys have wonderful weeks and wonderful days. Bye.